Hello guys, me Carl Santos and Capricorn 95, and I have some breaking news as far as what I read earlier from a YouTube subscriber named Defined Fate. So he's one of my uh, subscribers that I kind of like in the internet. So he posted on his YouTube community post earlier that Ryan Newton is going to be a full time driver. In the SRX series, so and then at the same day, I believe three other drivers were announced, and they were Bobby Labonte, Greg Biffle, and Michael Waltrip. And then maybe I'll you could put Tony Stewart in there since he's the owner, and he, he might actually uh, try to defend his uh, championship. From last year, so what can I say? And as far as the the indie car drivers are concerned, plus open wheel, I'm not sure about Ernie Francis, Haley Castroneves, Paul Tracy, Marco Andretti. I guess yeah, Scott Speed too. Yeah, I'm trying to memorize every. Driver that was in the SRX series last year, and ooh yeah, Haley Ding was in it. She only did two of two races, and Luke Van Haas, I believe, who was the Slinger Speedway champion last year, and got the opportunity to run with the SRX guys. They were running it on a regular basis. So. Yep, and that was called the All Star Car, you know, and. Usually the track champion that usually wins often, they usually get invited into the SRX series. So if you're new to SRX series and you want to watch it, Alan Beswick is your guy. You know, he has a brand of knowledge of the sport so well. And it's basically the IRAC series of this generation. So... As far as that's concerned, I don't have much to say. It's just Ryan Newman just being new to the SRX series now that he's retired from NASCAR, I believe, but he didn't use the word retirement. Kind of confusing race fans, but it's his uh, interpretation is um, assuming that he does want to be labeled a retired driver, you know, so that's my word on why Ryan Newman is going to be an SRX racer. So <laughs> I make a happy car laugh. Y'all have a good evening and peace out.